ever spend hours editing photos wishing there was a faster way well guess what there is it helps you to create awesome looking product images in a minute and save your time and money in this video we are going to talk about how to create product images with this ai tool also show you two other alternatives and how we can create custom mockup with this ai images in photoshop let's see how easy it is first open your browser and type flair ai just create an account using your mail. Initially, you will get 30 renders. Now create a new project. You can change the project name by double clicking here. I name this project Product Mockup. You can upload your product images in the asset or drag and drop your images on this placeholder. Now drag this body spray images on this placeholder. If your images has a background, choose Remove Background. Otherwise, skip it. I already removed it, so I choose to skip. Now describe your product images in two or three words. Then press continue. There are many pre-made templates. You can use these templates or if you have any idea, you can modify the prompt to get a unique result. There are bunch of templates. It looks good. Let's try this. You can see if I click on any template, prompt will update it automatically. Now click generate. It will generate an image in a few seconds. You can see the image has been generated. It looks really cool. If I go to create this product mockup manually, it will take more than an hour. Let's download this image. You can download this image in PNG, JPG, even OFP. Let's choose PNG and click download. Let's try another image. Just delete the previous image and drag this face wash image. This time I will choose this template and click generate. Just wait for a second. It's done. Let's talk about Flare AI limitations. You already see that it is not totally free. You will get only 30 renders. If you have a subscription, you can generate unlimited images. But there is a way. We can copy this prompt and use another AI tool to generate images. Let's try. First we can try Leonardo AI. If you have an account, just log in. Otherwise, just create an account. I already have an account. You will get 150 credits every day. This is a plus point. After login, you will see this interface. Now click on image generation. I will choose Albedo Base Excel and Leonardo style. Also, you can choose how many images you want to generate at once. I will choose on image generation each time. It will save my credits. Now go to Flare AI and choose any template. After selecting template, you can see the prompt here. Now copy the prompt. Also, you can change the prompt as you like and you can show some creativity to get unique results. Let's paste the prompt. Also, you can choose image generations. I will choose 1024 into 1024. Now click generate. It will generate an image in a few seconds. Just download the image. We will replace our product with it at the end. Now use another AI tool. This time we will use Bing Image Creator. Just go to Google and search Bing Image Creator. If you have not any account, just create an account. Now paste the same prompt or you can copy another prompt. Now press create and wait for a second. It's done. Just look at the images. It's mind blowing. Now download these images. Now we have to remove the product. To remove the product we will use Adobe Firefly. First go firefly.adobe.com. Then choose generative fill. Now drag and drop the image. Then choose insert and erase the product. Also leave it empty. Now click on generate. After generate it will give three variations. You have to choose the best variation. Then download the image. Now we have to insert our product into the image. We will use photoshop to do it. So let's jump into the photoshop. After opening photoshop import the image. Now you can see the firefly watermark on the bottom left. Just choose the remove tool and remove the watermark. Then import the product image and scale it as you like. Now select the background layer and create a curve adjustment layer and down the midtone. Then press Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Now select the brush tool and down the flow around 6%. Then flood the brush tip like this and set hardness 62%. Now paint to create a shadow under the tube. Keep shadow subtle. Because if light comes from the front side, shadow will create on the opposite of the subject. Now select the product layer and create a exposure adjustment layer. 
Hold Alt and click between the layer to clip the layer to the product layer. Then down the exposure value and press Ctrl plus I. Now select the brush tool and down the flow around 50%. Then paint on the left side. Now create an another exposure layer and also clip this layer to the subject layer. This time increase the exposure value. Then press Ctrl plus I to invert the mask. Now pick the brush tool and paint on the right side. It's done. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. I plan many interesting things in the future. Still good mind and take care.